No time to waste today, let's just get to it. Welcome to A Tough Act to Follow. I'm Preston, aka The P-Luminator, and I will be your perfect darling here to brighten your life with the best and brightest stars in Hollywood. And when it comes to perfect stars, there is no one better than Julia Roberts. But what are the things that have propelled Julia to a height of success? Why has she managed to keep charming us time and time again, and what is it that has allowed her to transcend her A-list persona and keep performing in new and challenging roles time after time after time? What is it that makes Julia Roberts a tough act to follow? No. I'm sorry, Julia. I tried. I tried. Welcome to A Tough Act to Follow. I'm Preston, aka The Peluminator, and I will be your complimentary twin here to enrich your life by illuminating it with the deepest desires from across the Hollywood subconscious. And in the past few years, one actress has been subtly proving she's got more talent than people may initially realize. She's burst out from the indie scene and into the biggest franchises on the planet, all while continuing to give dazzling performances that really push the level of talent associated with pulp stories. I'm talking, of course, about Elizabeth Olsen. And what does Elizabeth do so well? What tricks and talents does she employ that allow her to excel as an actress? What lessons can she teach about the growth as a performer and about conveying deep emotions in a realistic and powerful way? And can it be possible that she's just getting started and has a long way to go before she's even reached her peak? I think we've only seen the beginning of her long career where she will prove without a doubt that Elizabeth Olsen is a tough act to follow. Elizabeth has been absolutely dominating the pop culture lately, and for good reason, she's able to play a lot of subtle intentions in ways that never feel like she's trying. It's one of the things that first helped her excel as an actress. She's really been able to stand up and give strong performances in a way that just is. There's no big way to describe it, Elizabeth just exists within a movie. I have been wandering in the desert for days, and we're about to die, okay? Okay. Okay. And I say, hand me that lemonade. Hand me that lemonade. Jesus, Susan, hand her the goddamn lemonade. Never mind. Jesse, hand me that lemonade. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> You can see how there are these somewhat wordy lines of dialogue, and Elizabeth delivers them like they're just coming right out of the top of her head. There is a thing that some actors do when performing where they sound like they're acting, but Elizabeth doesn't do that. She delivers the lines in a way that seems as though she's a genuine person just speaking original thoughts, and that helps the lines seem more genuine even when the dialogue is wildly complex. That was snobby. You're a snob. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. You think it's cool to hate things. And it's not. It's boring. Talk about what you love, and keep quiet about what you don't. Look, I know how this sounds, but trust me, this is a big deal, okay? This country is in bad shape, and it has to do, in large part, I think, with people liking things that are very, very bad. Right, according to you. Well, why are you the one who gets to decide what's good and bad? But this ability doesn't just limit Elizabeth to small laid-back roles. She absolutely understands how to play the stakes. And when the intensity ramps up, Elizabeth is still playing the role genuinely, and it helps make the stakes even stronger because we believe she's living through the trauma no matter what it is. You think I don't know what you're doing? Fucking do it, asshole. See what happens. Okay, hey, white boy. Let's go. What are we doing? Deputy, you've got no authority. You're in violation of federal law. Lower your weapon. Fuck you. You got us in the crossfire. Talk to me. What do I do? Roger Graham, county sheriffs have no authority. All right, everybody, just take it easy. FBI, hey, FBI, this is federal land, and I am the only authority, okay? Right now, all of you stand down. And this heightening doesn't just occur in the big moments. Stakes have to be strong even in the small moments, too. If a character doesn't drive through the scene with power and determination, then those scenes will seem less important, but Elizabeth never lets those stakes fall. She continues to keep the character's intentions pushing forward even when the scene is low energy. Do you have gloves? No. Goodness. What were they thinking, sending you here? Thank you. Can you bring them back the minute you're done? They were my granddaughters. They ain't a gift. You hear me? Yeah, of course. However, this does not mean that Elizabeth is just intense and hard all the time. Well, yes, she is great at pushing those stakes in the high-tension dramas. She can also play them in movies which are a little more offbeat or comic. Stakes exist in every setting, and they still have to be understood even when the scenes are seemingly goofy or feel good. The intentions still have to exist, or the scene won't feel real. Hi. Stop! <laughs> How long are you here for? Ah, uh, I was thinking like two, three weeks tops. Uh, uh, uh sorry, what, uh, two or three weeks. 
like best surprise ever. Best surprise ever. <laughs> best surprise ever. <laughs> Can I have my phone? No. Give me it. No. Give me it. Uh-uh. Taylor, I brought some rosé. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a great bottle. I know, I thought you liked that kind. Thank you. All right, so. nice. And because the stakes and intensity remain, the characters Elizabeth creates can switch into the intense and serious modes when they need to. This allows a character to live in a state of genuine intent even when the premise of the movie may be something a little absurd. Elizabeth helps the audience see that the turns from funny and light to serious and harsh are genuine, because she's done the work to make those characters feel complete from the very start. Okay, cheese. Wait, actually don't smile, and if you hold your bag down like this, it might look better. And even at an angle, maybe. Cool. Okay, I think we got it. Thank you. Sorry, would you actually, would you mind just taking a, a few more and maybe if you got lower, then you could get the sign above our heads and that would be amazing. Here you go, thanks, you're the best. Sure. And then you take all this ability for creating characters and you drop it into a role mired in past trauma and character history and Elizabeth can make the thing damn near unforgettable. She's so good at expressing numerous thoughts without saying too much and saying her thoughts in ways which convey multiple meanings at once. He's painted one word. Stark. We were trapped for two days. Every effort to save us, every shift in the bricks, I think, this will set it off. We wait for two days for Tony Stark to kill us. And the characters grow. They're not these static figures living in the past. They are growing and evolving people who have found ways to grow beyond their origins. And that is especially necessary in a movie where characters go through a harsh emotional journey and have to experience things that change them. Elizabeth can make that growth natural and keeps the character consistent as they grow throughout the movie. And when you add all these traits together, you get absolutely phenomenal characterization. Characters are complex things. They take consistency and practice to get to this point. And it's clear from how deep she goes with her characters that Elizabeth has put thoughtful time into them. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I'm upstate, I think. I don't know. Um... And it's clear from how deep she goes with her characters that Elizabeth has put thoughtful time into them. There is nothing that is accidental, but also nothing that feels rehearsed. Each character is a realistic person living genuine, albeit complicated, experiences. So when you take a movie all about characterization, history, and the trauma of a character, then it is perfect for Elizabeth to shine. She comes in and just flourishes in every scene and is able to get into these deep moments to explore every facet of the character. Do you ever have that feeling where you can't tell if some things in memory or if it's something you dreamed? Not really. No. Do you blame me for anything? No. And this is where Elizabeth has excelled since the very beginning. Her characters get layers and layers of development. They aren't static or boring in any way. She does this whether the character is a lead, supporting role, or even a minor character or cameo. Every single character gets the same intention and development, and it makes each character just as impactful time and time again. So why do we like Elizabeth Olsen? One, Elizabeth is. I know that seems odd to say at first, but Elizabeth is able to live within the world of the movie and create characters who seem as though they are exuding next to no effort in doing so. Her power for coming across as simply natural gives her a talent to make characters without effort, and it seems as though they aren't acting, but instead just being. Two, Elizabeth plays the stakes. Elizabeth can raise the intensity of any scene and add excitement to even the most mundane of interactions. By raising the stakes even when it doesn't seem like it would be applicable, it allows these scenes to really flourish and her characters to seem more interesting as a result. 3. Elizabeth does the work. By creating a character completely, Elizabeth is able to make that character go through a spectrum of emotions in a way that seems believable. Whether comedic or dramatic, the character's journey is fully genuine and it comes from Elizabeth making those choices early and completely. 4. Elizabeth excels at trauma. 
While her other work is good, the characters with deep trauma stand out across her roles. This comes from Elizabeth making the pasts of a character important and allowing those pasts to influence the actions of the characters in the present. 5. Elizabeth builds deep characters. Elizabeth's characters are numerous and diverse, and no matter how much time the character is on screen or how much the character gets to do within the story, Elizabeth builds those characters completely and it allows them to excel throughout the movie. So now we've seen that Elizabeth Olsen is a master of her craft who is only getting started. And while I can't wait to see what she does next, I'm also so excited to introduce you to some movies I love that she's already made. Here are my five essential Elizabeth Olsen performances. 1. Liberal Arts Elizabeth is so down-to-earth and likable in this indie movie by How I Met Your Mother's Josh Radner. Her character gets a lot of time to shine throughout the movie, and she manages to outact just about everyone in the cast as a result. 2. Wind River Elizabeth commands the screen, both through her character and through the plot of the movie. Her ability to come across as tough and yet still unsure throughout this mystery really sells the character both to the other characters in the movie and to us, the audience. 3. Ingrid Goes West this dark comedy allows Elizabeth to play outside her usual type and makes her a bubbly and shallow influencer. While keeping the character light but allowing the stakes to play, Elizabeth gives Taylor a depth that she may not have had otherwise. And the movie, while a bit odd, has very powerful character pieces from the whole cast. 4. Avengers Age of Ultron Elizabeth plays the trauma of Wanda Maximoff so well, and it's what has carried her throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And while I love this one on its own, go watch all the movies she's done in this franchise, and then go watch WandaVision to see just how talented Elizabeth really is. 5. Martha, Marcy May, Marlene This movie is an incredibly powerful piece of character work. Elizabeth plays so many layers upon layers, and it shows in this tense and harsh psychological trauma. Throughout the movie, Elizabeth is able to keep the character consistent while adding and subtracting the effects of trauma as the movie jumps back and forth through time. And that is why Elizabeth Olsen is a tough act to follow. Thank you for watching. What are your favorite Elizabeth Olsen moments? Were there any that you were hoping to see? Let me know other up and coming actors that you think need time in the sun and I'll see if I can highlight them as well. And if you like this video, please give it a like. If you do, I'll introduce you to your robot husband. If you enjoyed this video, please share it around. I know people would love to see it. To help me keep making these videos, head over to my Patreon. You can learn all the research I do on the actors and get a chance to be thanked in subsequent videos like these folks. Thanks mom and dad. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Thanks so much for watching, and as I always say, thanks for taking the time to get P-Illuminated. <laughs>